so, so far, I think the Congress has been uh, quite a success. We had a very productive day um, on uh, the first day with uh, the Council meeting, which will provide very useful guidance for the IHA's work in the, in the coming years. Um, as far as the Congress itself is concerned, I think uh, what I find very uh, exciting is that we are not really talking about hydropower as such. We are talking of uh, the key cha challenges that will uh, be uh, with our world in the coming years, such as water security, uh, energy security, climate change, poverty eradication, eradication and, and development. And it just happens that hydropower is at the intersection of those challenges. So I believe the, the, the Congress will be uh, very critical in progressing the thought about the role that hydropower can actually play uh, in the coming decades in addressing those challenges. And, uh, well, that also uh, will uh, lead the IHS future for those same years. We are very, very interested in the protocol as, as EDF. I think we were the first ones to raise our hand for uh, becoming a sustainability partner of IHA. Um, as we have recently experienced with the uh, development and construction of the Nampton 2 project in Laos, uh, hydropower projects are much more than uh, electricity generating facilities. They are really tools for development, uh, tools for water management, and from this point of view, having the protocol uh, now available will make a real difference in creating a common language uh, between the various stakeholders involved um, in evaluating the social performance, the economic performance, the environmental performance of those projects. And eventually, I think it will be a great help in coming up with better trade-offs and better performance. I think um, we had some very interesting uh, sessions today about uh, water management, about climate change. Um, the, the, the future of hydropower, in my view, really relies primarily on the fact that it is renewable. And uh, if we ask ourselves what we would like to be remembered for, clearly contributing to uh, changing the uh, energy picture of the world from conditions which do consume uh, exhaustible resources and moving to a renewable world of energy is something uh, which is probably uh, on the top of the agenda. And from this point of view, of course, hydropower, which was again completely recognized as a full member of the renewable family in the very recent IPCC report on renewables has a critical role to play.